Hi there and welcome to the Met Office forecast for the week ahead. A lot of people at the moment asking when will it warm up because it feels like winter has returned. Northerly winds have brought Arctic air across the UK as we've started the new week. A stark contrast to what's developing further south across Europe. Iberia seeing an early season heat wave over the next few days and by the end of the week the April record for Spain could be under threat. We're not going to see that heat arrive in the UK, but we will see temperatures recover later this week. That is after we see another one or two frosty starts. And Tuesday certainly sees a widespread frost across the UK. Temperatures a degree or two either side of freezing, even lower than that for some sheltered highland glens. A bright start for many, however, and it stays sunny through much of the morning, but there'll be further wintry showers into the north of Scotland, sleet, snow, hail, not a great deal accumulating. Mainly the accumulations will be confined to the hills. And showers also around Irish Sea coast, perhaps affecting North Wales and parts of Northern Ireland at times. Otherwise, a lot of dry weather on Tuesday, fewer showers affecting southern areas and a lot more sunny spells. And with less of a wind as well, actually, I suspect, despite temperatures being below average for the time of year, it's going to feel pleasant enough in any sunny spells. But uh, with that wind coming from the north, it will have a marked wind chill with temperatures for, uh, several degrees lower than indicated on the map here. Some cloud and outbreaks of rain there just offshore from Cornwall. They begin to drift in overnight. And as we start off Wednesday, it's cloudier skies for South Wales and Southern England with some dribs and drabs of mainly light rain. Further wintry showers affecting the northeast of Scotland. A few showers of rain and sleet affecting northern England, but otherwise sunny spells for many in the north and staying chilly. But further south, we've got the grey skies and that cloud will cover the hills, I think, to lead to a fairly gloomy day in places. However, the rain not amounting to much around the middle of the week. And then we're going to see further cloud and outbreaks of rain start to approach from the southwest from Wednesday night onwards. However, this cloud and those outbreaks of rain associated with milder air coming along because of a change in wind direction. We'll first notice that on Thursday with a lot more cloud across the UK, certainly towards the southwest and frost-free here. Still a frost potential towards the far north and northeast of the UK. Brighter skies here, but otherwise generally a cloudy day for most and outbreaks of mostly light rain and drizzle affecting South Wales and the south of England with the cloud covering the hills, again leading to extensive hill fog. But for many it's a dry day, certainly through these central parts and temperatures will reach 13 to 15 Celsius. So they're beginning to trend upwards by this stage as we lose those Arctic winds. Then into the start of Friday, we're going to see a weather front picked up by the jet stream coming at us from the southwest and bringing quite lively weather overnight. Some heavy rain and some thunderstorms potentially crossing southern parts of the UK, drier towards the north. But for all areas, we're going to see an increase in cloud as we start off Friday. So most places frost free and those outbreaks of rain slowly clearing away from the southeast to lead to a cloudy and in places gloomy afternoon, I suspect. Not a great deal of brightness about and still some patchy rain and drizzle over western hills. But if we do see some cloud breaks, temperatures will respond very well because we're seeing much more humid air across the UK. So 17 to 18 Celsius in the south, but given any cloud breaks, potential for 19 or 20 Celsius in the southeast. Again, colder towards the north, but actually it's really the far north of Scotland where we keep the very chilly air. Otherwise, it's double figures for many. Then that milder air spreads across the whole of the UK as we start off the long weekend. Still some weather fronts moving in from the west. They'll bring some showery rain, but they're running into high pressure. So really they're weak features. And the weekend sees warmer than average weather. I think that means generally mid to high teens, but the potential for 20 Celsius in one or two spots. Also, there'll be some sunny spells through Saturday, Sunday and Monday, but still some showers. And where we do see these showers, they could be quite potent at times. So certainly warmer weather on the way, but a few overnight frosts to watch out for till we get there.